Well, it's not the treasure, but it looks like it's a clue to where the treasure is. Face the circle in the square. You'll see me. I'll show you where. Interesting. 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 Okay, well, if there is a treasure out there, we don't want anybody else to know about it. None of this leaves this room, okay? Obviously. We're not idiots, Brian. Hey, look! Dad's on TV! Hello, I'm Tom Tucker, here with local fortune seeker Peter Griffin, who appears to have found a clue to a hidden treasure. That's right, Tom, and I sincerely hope that the caption beneath me doesn't say local fatty. Let's do something about that caption. All right, well, you can check out the clue at our website, therealcohog5news at 6 underscore Rhode Island dot net. We were a little late getting a website. Quick, Neil, sign into the neighbor's Wi-Fi so we can get that clue. Nurse, write down that clue, and then go out in the waiting room and maybe... Start lowering expectations. Treasure? Yeah, baby? Bring me a grape wine. Peter, what the hell? Now everyone has the clue. Why would you do that? Because I'm tired of people saying I don't know nothing. Everyone doubted me, so I wanted to rub it in their faces that I was right. All right, where is it? Give me that. Is this all there was? Yeah, is there anything else we should know before we start looking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is our thing. We're not sharing this with anyone. Peter, come on. Are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Well, yeah, we're like peas in a pod. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. Look, you guys doubted me, mocked me, constantly handled my ego despite my clear instructions, and now you want a piece of my treasure? I don't think so. Well, fine. We don't need you anyway. Peter, I don't like this. It seems like this treasure is already turning people against each other. Hang on, you guys. I think I might have figured something out. The circle in the square. That could be the clock in the town square. Wow, that... you're right. Brian, that could be it. Well, let's get down there before anyone else does. Son of a bitch, everyone's already here. Let's see. Face the circle in the square. Face the circle. Face. Okay, the gesturing needs to stop. No one else is doing that. Look, when you face this way, you're looking at the statue of Miles Musket. Crap, you guys, there's already other people here. They must have figured it out, too. You're right. Okay, gather around, kids. Family suicide. Look, there's a plaque. This square shall forever honor the memory of my son, Timmy Musket. Always a chip off the old block. May he rest in peace. Miles Chatterbox Musket. Wait! When I played Jane Musket in the school play the last three weekends, thanks for coming. I couldn't. I had a thing. I had a lot of dog stuff that day. The weekends I like to spend with my kids. I learned that Timmy Musket is buried in a cemetery on Block Island. I remember it because my big speech was, Timmy... Meg, please. That must be what chip off the old block means. That's it. Meg, take the car home. Your mother and I are taking a ferry to Block Island. Chris, we need to find that treasure for ourselves. What do you mean? Even if Dad finds the treasure, he's not going to share. He'll just blow through it all. Maybe you're right. I mean, last time we came into some money, he just wasted it on all those diamond pinky rings for everybody. What? Uh, well, uh, yeah, we should probably go. What the hell? Where are they going? Oh, forget them. They're dead weight. If this treasure is going to be found, it's up to you and me, Brian. What do you mean? Come on, you think the fat man's going to figure out those clues? He's an idiot. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yes, I mean, he's the guy who put all those little bald men in incubators because he thought they were babies. Look at you. You came early, but you're gonna make it. I'm a senior vice president at an investment firm. Oh, someone's a fussy britches. 